These may look like typical greenhouses from the outside, but a closer look inside reveals they are anything but typical. Over an acre of tomatoes, 6,000 plants, with the potential of 10,000, all grown hydroponically. We've been producing tomatoes and uh, are having pretty good success with that. And people are really starting to uh, hone in on us and, and realize it, what we're trying to do and, and the consistent quality product that we're doing. Matt Wyatt and his father Jerry decided about seven years ago they would convert their greenhouses, where they grew bedding plants and other vegetable transplants, into a year-round production interest. The Wyatts contacted Marshall County Extension Agent for Agriculture Lincoln Martin, who set up tours of similar operations in Mississippi. And the rest, as they say, is history. They're doing a great job. They've got a market out there. They're satisfying it. Consumers are happy. They're happy, and they're looking to branch out and produce other fresh vegetables here uh, that can be used in the marketplace. But Matt Wyatt says they didn't get to that point without some learning curves, like fertility issues, disease problems, and the capital investment alone. Now all the hard work is paying off, with grocery chains in Louisville selling the tomatoes, and the Wyatts are supplying schools and state parks. Potentially, there's a lot of demand for it, there really is. Uh, we haven't been able to keep up with demand and uh, uh, consistently, but uh, you got to work on marketing and production at the same time, and that's the challenging thing, uh, is again, the education of the consumer realizing what you've got and uh, promoting that. I mean, when you go to the grocery store and you look at what's available, Something that's been riding on the truck for a while and sitting there a while looks like it. And it tastes like it too. And so uh, something about this and the Kentucky Proud logo, uh, marketing, uh, quality, I think Matt and Jerry would tell you that taste is where it's at. Growing vegetables indoors is labor intensive. The Wyatts use H-2A migrant laborers to harvest the crop, bumblebees handle the pollination, and beneficial predator insects take care of the pests. It's 12 months out of the year. There's, you're never done. I mean, there's always, always uh, 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 things to be doing with the current plants, planting your next crop. Uh, there's, there's always uh, a to-do list. Uh, people are learning about the high quality produce that's being grown here. Vicki Wynn, the Marshall County Family and Consumer Sciences Extension agent, works with the Wyatts, who also sell fresh vegetables from a roadside stand near the greenhouses. Wynn says growing the vegetables hydroponically is a good selling point from a food safety aspect. From uh, the growing aspect and then the consumer aspect it definitely is a higher quality product with fewer um, instances of uh, risk of foodborne illness.